guys how you all doing guys guess what i am doing a video because it was requested for and um i surely have to give you i mean whatever you ask for i have to deliver so guys i'm out of home you can see i'm at acquiring center you can see around so that is how it looks you're wondering why there is fire here we are not cooking guys <laughs> you could be thinking we're also cooking here this is not a cooking point guys um it's a process so i want to start off I'm getting fire from my neighbor's um, fireplace. Go set up mine, then I can show you from the start until we get to the rocks. The way you see my my neighbor, that, that mama making the stone, until we reach there, guys. So let us start, start getting fire. Right there. We go and set my fire already. So guys, if you can notice, this is another side. It's the same as the other one, but it's just that in between there's some kind of a, I don't know even how to say it, but you saw there's this section and then the other section where I got fire from. But it's the same um, kind of work, it's all quarrying work. So let's go set fire. So right here is where I'm going to set my fire. You can see I already cleared here because this where I'm standing here is actually where the rocks are and I want to get rocks out of this place it has to crack and the only way it's going to crack is when the fire hits it really hard and then it's going to crack then we can get extract the rocks out of the ground before we can start breaking it into pieces Here we go <laughs> Perfect. You can see how windy it is, and it's actually burning so fast. So let me just clear the space. Fire has to be really, really, really hot. You can imagine the temperature that cracks these rocks, guys. It has to be really really hot and that's the reason you see me putting a lot of firewood like that. So guys, let's wait. So guys, because the burning takes really long, I am not going to wait for the one I set. Uh, the one I set is actually the other side. This is for another neighbor again guys. This is the one which has been um, set from around 8, you said 8? Around 8 in the morning, it's actually 1 already and it's about, I don't know what difference of hours, about 6 hours or something. And you can see it is still burning guys, but it's actually cracking. Um, how I wish it would crack when you guys are seeing. And I don't want to draw close at it because it can crack and hit you hard. I think you can see these ones. I don't want to go so close. <laughs> and it's very hot near it guys, you can imagine. So it's really really hot and it has it has to burn until you can see all this firewood here is actually finished in fact they can be adding more after this like until it cracks much the same as you can see right here in my background these ones here so after cracking out like that it reaches on this but it has to cool before actually this process here starts so guys let's start extracting it out Here, 
and then there are people who come and buy them because the people who do this are different from the people who actually make them into the tiny pieces that I'm going to show you right after this. So after this, there's a measurement. Um, there's a kind of a bucket that is used for measure. I'm actually looking for it around. I'm going to show you later on. It's um, sold to those ladies up there so they can crack it into now the pieces that is used for building or whatever used there. So in other words, the people who do the work from inside here are different from the people who crack it up there. Let's do this. <laughs> Guys, for starters, <laughs> this weight alone is like 8 kilograms, I think. Oh my god. <laughs> guys i took porridge before coming here but i can tell you my porridge is going to remain <laughs> it's going to remain here <laughs> let me try my luck <laughs> <Woo! laughs> okay i've always known myself to be a hard worker but you guys i can tell you today i'm defeated i must admit this and i won't lie but mm -mm, mm -mm, no <laughs> let's go and do the other part <laughs> So guys, right here is the bucket for selling. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to buy, remember I got defeated. <laughs> I got defeated with the cracking guys. That thing is so heavy. I wish you were here to try it. So all I'm going to do is just to buy mine and then show you how it's cracked. It's about um, $2, something like that. So that's what I'm going to buy. What happens is uh, the ladies who crack them, I think you saw a number of them along the way. They are the ones who now buy from the gentlemen at the, at the main rock there. Then they bring them up just like I did. And then they start hitting just like I'm going to do. And then when it's cracked like these pieces here, um, building sites, whoever has a construction, whoever wants to, to buy the rocks, come and actually buy from the ladies up the, up the hill like this. So let's crack it already. You have to be very careful, otherwise your feet can actually, I mean your your finger can actually remain on this stone here. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> make sure that your rocks are at a size that your customers are going to just flow otherwise you notice that a lot of people who do this so if you're not careful no one can actually buy from you because you have to be very smart uh, display and make it look really really neat and attractive that is it here guys it's business all through But I can tell you guys, this business actually feeds a lot of families around this place. A lot that you might not really imagine, but the families who come here, come here, especially in this period that children are not in school, they come here with all the children, and every child sits at their own point and actually start cracking these rocks, guys. So it's like um, a real um, source of money in this point, yeah?
So guys, after accumulating it here, what you do is you carry it from here and then depends on where the person is actually collecting hers from. So, let me show you where these ones have been collected. imagine now what happens is um, the builders or the construction sites actually come and buy from uh, the people in heaps like this um, for a heap like this takes about um, 200 of this containers makes a heap so a trip is actually at um, 280,000 Ugandan shillings which is um, I think roughly 80 or 85 dollars I'm not exact but it's not far from that guys so that is the cost of um, the work you actually notice from setting the fire to cracking to waiting for the rocks to crack from picking the rocks from there bringing it to this point cracking it into pieces and the waiting and whatever that is what comes out afterwards guys so like I told you um, here it's about hard work if you're lazy survival here is hard guys but if you have the energy and the zeal to work mm -mm, you'll never be defeated at any one point guys uh, the person who wanted to see the quarry work in my village I hope I did something worth it please let me know in the comment section if it were you who wanted to see this um and you are satisfied thank you for watching <laughs>